what is up guys thank you so much for joining us again today we have pretty much a food tasting challenge I don't know what you really want to call it we got a cheese tortellini spaghetti with meat and sauce a breakfast skillet we also have chicken and rice first she's gonna start it off with the cheese tortellini so here, I'll open it up for you. This is the flameless ration heater. They come with a bunch of stuff. So it comes with a spoon, a pop tart. This is lemon lime. Pretty much what you do is you stick the cheese tortellini inside of the pouch. There you go. I slide this whole bag or Yeah, you want to slide the bag in it. Yeah. This whole thing? Just... Yep, just slide it in there. Make sure it gets all the way in there. Yep. Alright, so you fill it up to the line. Don't overfill. To what line? It says it right there. It says do not overfill. Right. So just down there? Yep. Just put the water in until it's up to the line. That's it could be up a... barely any water. Just go ahead. Is that good? Oh, oh shit. Oh. You want to just mix it around in there. How do you eat it with the bag in there? I think that's good. And then you put it inside this bad boy right here. Why? I can hear it! It's actually cooking. That is so crazy. Let's get this thing. You can like hear it in the... Look at it, it's getting bigger. It let some air out of there. So right now we're going to try the Pop-Tart. I don't even like Pop-Tarts. I don't like Pop-Tarts either. Yes, you do. Mm. Did you eat these when you went camping? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, that must have came in handy. That is hot. Feel that. Feel how hot that is. How does a bag heat up like that? Pretty amazing. You see the steam? It smells like Chef Boyardee up in this. So the tortellinis are just filled with cheese? That's it. They're just with cheese. Here, I'm going to grab one. And you grab one. Perfect. Good luck. What do you think? It's really not bad at all, but it oh, definitely... Oh, we've sold! <laughs> it's definitely Chef Boyardee, and I do not like Chef Boyardee. Yeah. Now we're going to do some spaghetti and meat sauce. I know you don't like grape. Nikki does not like grape, grape anything. They're so squished because they come compact them like together. definitely done. Look at it shoot that steam out. Do you see that? Oh yeah, I can see it. <laughs> it's so crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. Doot, doot. Do you hear it? 
It's whistling, it's so hot. Ooh, that is hot. Definitely spaghetti and meatballs. It does not look as good as the last. <laughs> Blah. You know, like bland. Yeah. Cheers. I'm gonna smell like. The only thing is I'm not expecting a whole lot out of food that comes from a bag. But the tortellinis, they're mushy. Like, they're just they were. like mush. It wasn't like... This one has, like, actual meat chunks in it. The noodles aren't overcooked. It's actually really, really good. Yeah. So there's like a little package inside of here that says do not eat and I did not know that. It's the adapter or something like that. It says on the back of it, it says open package, remove and discard oxygen absorber. It also says if you forget to remove oxygen absorber, absorber before adding water, don't worry. Your food is still safe to eat. Simply remove and discard absorber. Wow, okay. So, but you should remove it anyways. But so different. this chicken and rice has no smell at all. Do you want to smell it? Has no smell. There is no smell whatsoever. I'm very curious what the chicken's gonna taste like. Do you know where to fill it to? Yeah. That's about it? that about that much. Wow, that looks delicious. There's like chunks of eggs in here, guys. Seriously, there is. Check that out. Oh, wow. Ooh, hash browns. <laughs> Nikki loves hash browns. Look at what that looks like, guys. Can you see it? I think they can see a little bit. Of oh my god, Nick. Like, I'm not even kidding. Ooh. That smells amazing. So the other packages... It smells like bacon. The other packages, all we had to do is we just used um, a little bit of water and it heated up on its own. But these, they're different and we got them... We got these from Walmart. The other ones, where'd you get those from? Those actually came from like Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop. Any place like a like real that. camp in store. Yeah, pretty much. But these ones, you have to actually boil the water and then put them in the bag with the food. So the other ones, you just add water, it can be room temperature water, whatever kind of water. And those you have to have boiled water for, so if you're camping, you're going to have to boil the water somehow, some way, and then add the water. Yeah, so our back, we got our two freezer dried camping meals. This one is the breakfast skillet. I'm going to pour them both into these bowls. Are you sure they're done? I don't like how this looks either. Are you sure it's done? 100%. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, cheers. That's actually really good. Yeah, this isn't bad. That is really, really good. Mm. Wait till you try this. You're going to love it. This reminds me of like pilaf. That is good, huh? I don't really like this. The rice was pretty good. I don't like the seasonings in it. That sucks. And it tastes really mushy to me. Let's switch them back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like, do you like this one? I do, I do like it. Did you try a piece of chicken out here first? Yeah, I did, it was good. Chicken? It has that, it has like a grilled flavor. Like they put liquid smoke in here. 
I don't know, hands down, I was not sure how I was going to like these things, but I was excited to try the chicken and rice. I was skeptical about the chicken, but honestly, this is my favorite one out of all four that we did try. And if I was anywhere camping, this would be like the best thing for me to eat. So you guys heard it yourself. That was the camping food taste test. I had fun. Mm. I liked the food. I'd definitely try it again if we had some different kinds. Uh, give it a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Let us know if you want to see us do more camping taste testing. Or even taste testing in general. Or taste With testing anything. in general. It's Halloween in four days, guys. So we'll show you our costumes. Maybe we'll take you with us. Hell yeah, definitely. We're going to be going to Broadway. It's going to be awesome. Definitely going to have a good time. We can't wait to see you guys there. We'll see you soon. Have a good one. Subscribe. Hell yeah. Bing, 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 b